What is up, Internet? Kevin here, Tech of Tomorrow's resident gaming guru, talking to you from my base of operations, aka my house. Now, as many of you are aware, a couple of games came out this morning, signaling the start of what will eventually be the madness that is the holiday season, and one of those games in particular is Splinter Cell Blacklist. So I grabbed that this morning off of Steam, got to play the always fun little game of Will Ubisoft Let Me Play Something in My PC, got to play it for about an hour, and now bringing you guys my first hour impressions. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy today's dose of gaming goodness. So here we are with our first impressions. Now to begin with, I wanted to give you guys a little idea about the style of videos we'll be doing with these first hour impressions and full reviews, in which I'm going to have a much bigger emphasis on the content of the game itself and not so much pure performance. Now those of you that are fans of our more spec-related and benchmark videos, we're still going to have that content on the channel. It's just that my reviews will be focused much more in terms of gameplay mechanics, storytelling, music, and art style and presentation. Now of course we still realize that what we're running the game on is really important information to you guys, so you can check out the links in the description to see what I'm playing on, and if you haven't seen it yet, you can check out part one of our Ultimate Game Capture PC build project right here. So, getting back to what this particular video is about, my first hour impressions of Splinter Cell Blacklist. Now right off the bat, the game shows that it definitely has a much heavier emphasis on combat than just pure stealth. Players are given the option between suits that specialize in gadgets and increasing enemy AI's ability to notice you, and those that focus on increasing your toughness or weapon handling instead. In other words, traditional stealth fans still have the option to play the way they're used to, but those of you lacking skills for subtlety can build up Sam for running and gunning if you wish. Now, several of the mechanics introduced in Conviction have made their return, including the ability to mark and quickly take down multiple targets, and the seeing of a ghostly outline of your last known position to enemies, allowing you to strategize your escape. Overall, the stealth gameplay is smooth, with my only complaint so far being that the game literally throws ammo and gadget resupplies at you at every other hallway. Though, of course, I've only played a bit over an hour, so this could just be a symptom of early levels. One particular feature I really like is that this game rewards you based on three separate XP tracks for different playstyles. Ghost, for those of you that like using non-lethal takedowns or just completely avoiding combat. Panther, for those that still rely on stealth but also make use of more lethal means of removing threats. And lastly, Assault, for those of you that want to treat this like a third-person shooter, or just have a bad habit of getting caught every five seconds. While I'm happy with the game's overall approach to combat, I do have a few issues with its presentation so far. Specifically the change of, and in all honesty completely out of place voice acting for Sam Fisher, and the strangest stealth mechanic in which hiding in shadows causes your gear to light up, as though that were some kind of useful feature for keeping you hidden. I get that it's meant to be a signal for players to know when they're in cover and have darkness, but it's just counterintuitive and kind of goofy when you think about it in setting. This game is also taking a much more specified mission approach, where you actually have a home base of operations where you can talk to all your people, upgrade your gear, get a little more character development out of each person you talk to, and then go to each mission separately, as well as engage in co-op missions and online ones, giving it a little more of an episodic feel rather than just one continuous storyline. Now, of course, all of this is just from my first hour of gameplay. I've really only played, like, the opening bit of the campaign. I've done one mission after the tutorial, so there's still a lot left for me to experience. I have yet to do any of the multiplayer, whether it's the co-op side missions, or the online mercenaries vs. spy mode, and once I get a chance to play those more, as well as finish the campaign, I can bring you guys the full review. So this was our first of a series of brand new gaming vids we're going to be bringing you guys for Tech of Tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed the content and are looking forward to more of it, make sure to let us know by going to town on the like button as we'd really appreciate it. And if you have yet to do so, also make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the other stuff we'll be doing, including my full review of Splinter Cell and all the other games we'll be getting during the holiday season. And if what little bit you already saw today makes you really want to get the game already, you can go ahead and check the link in the description to grab it for yourselves. Till next time, I'm Kevin, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and we'll catch you guys later.